Hello everybody, this is a review of the Roco BR880 locomotive. And hopefully this video will turn out clear. I'm using this Samsung Galaxy uh, smartphone to record this as a test. So I'll see how it turns out. Uh, as you can see, the BR888 80 is a uh, locomotive that came out originally in the 1920s. And um, this is the Roco HO scale version of it. And I've had this one oh, for a few weeks now. And I said, well, okay, let's make a review of it. It's a nice little locomotive. It gives you, you get a few different uh, road names with that. Uh, Unfortunately, I don't give you the 1920s uh, and 30s Reichsbahn, Deutsche Reichsbahn. And you get the Deutsche Bundesbahn, which came out after World War II. And you get the Czech, uh, let's see, you get the Österreichische Bundesbahn, which is an Austrian railway. And, and there's one other one I can't remember. Oh, Swiss. I think the Swiss CFF, if I remember right. Oh, well, it's not a bad little locomotive. I don't have my layout set up right now. Uh, but this was used to haul some boxcars and uh, and uh, also used for uh, pulling some passenger cars, small passenger cars, uh, two ax axle ones. It was basically a light duty uh, with integrated coal storage. Shunter service, I guess, is basically what they, what they we use, but they also use it for uh, hauling goods, uh, local commuter type, so city to city, as long as it's within a, oh, I think it was like 50 kilometers or so, not very far, 30 miles. So it's a good running uh, little locomotive. I believe this was made in Slovakia. If I remember right. It's not made in Austria. But I mean, it's your typical quality. I mean, it's a decent. Let me see if I can get this. I don't know how this phone will focus on it, but we can try. This is basically a test for me, too, to see how well this thing works. Let's see how this. I don't like the focus. Let me back up a little bit. I see that they do have one light that works in here. It's on the top here, yeah, right there. But these do not work. They're just painting, painted silver. Which is fine, you know. I mean, yeah, this is an inexpensive little guy. Um, but yet, this was a real locomotive use. I remember seeing these when in the 60s. And I remember seeing them getting hauled off to be scrapped, too. After their, their service was done in the 70s. So we put them on a... Oh, if I remember, I seen them on a large truck being hauled off the scrapyard. And that's what they went their end. But, I mean, it was used for quite a while here in the U.S. Uh, when most of our steam locomotives were gone at a certain time period, they still were being used up until the uh, early 70s, I think, for some things. All right, good. Well, that's it for this review of the Roco BR-80 locomotive.